I want to see nice, light, fluffy scrambled eggs. A little bit creamy, mm. but scrambled eggs to die for. And that's how a master chef perfects scrambled eggs. Well, I guess I can cook that. If not, I can just fuck off upstairs. So, working from home also means eating at home. Which is why I'm going to introduce you to this new show called Cook From Home. Want to eat? Can go up. How about you cook from home? It's where I recreate famous dishes from TV shows and films. I'm an amateur chef. I barely can cook. But that's why I'm here to show that life isn't all about cup noodles. If an amateur can cook, so can you. So today we are making Gordon Ramsay's famous scrambled eggs. In front of me here, there's like a couple of ingredients. Usually I would only need like butter and eggs. Gordon Ramsay's a bit more complex than that. He uses um, mushrooms and cherry tomatoes. Cream fresh. The garnish is actually um, chives, but I, I thought spring onions are good. Substitute. We got salt and pepper and we got a good toast to go along with it. At the end, I'll rate this dish based on its price, difficulty, the time it took, and finally whether you should cook this from home. Now, we're gonna make the most amazing scrambled eggs. From an amateur to an amateur, let's go through this together. First off, put your eggs in the pot without even heating the stove. Eggs in. He adds three knobs of butter into the eggs that we just poured in. The stove now is in low heat. While it is cooking, you slowly mix both the butter and eggs together. You don't want any of the eggs to stick within the pot. So you, you come around. We're just gonna stir it and then season at the end. We shouldn't put salt onto the eggs now because that will make the eggs very watery. The unique thing about his scrambled eggs is he cooks it 30 seconds on the heat, 30 seconds off the heat, so it prevents it from overcooking. All the heat now is under there. Since our pan is hot now, put some olive oil and rest our mushrooms and cherry tomatoes. Just make sure it's on low heat because it's just, it's just gonna rest there. So back to my egg. 30 seconds on the stove, 30 seconds off the stove and just keep cooking it like this. So at the same time, while well, your tomatoes, your mushrooms, and your egg is cooking, we're gonna toast some bread. Bread in there. Just when it starts to thicken up, we're gonna start seasoning it. And finally, he adds a little thing called cream fresh, which I have no idea what it is, but it's supposedly to make it a little bit more creamier. So before we even plate anything, we have to taste. That's just, that's perfect. Bring onions, just to garnish the top a bit. Get your toast out. Oops, hope you can see this. You just drizzle it with a bit of spring onions. So, there you have it. Now, for the taste. Whoa! If your partner cooks this right, plus points. I don't want to be biased and for you to just take my word for it. So I'm just going to get my, my dad to come and taste this. So that's it for today's episode of Cook From Home. The price adds up to $20 and it'll probably last me for several breakfasts. It's a two-star difficulty because you just have to get used to bringing the pot on and off the stove. It's no less than 15 minutes but it'll be a lot longer if you have trouble multitasking. In the end, if I were to wake up to a breakfast like this, I'd definitely cook from home. If you like creamy eggs, this is the recipe for you. Let me know what dish from a film or a TV show you would want me to cook next. I'm gonna enjoy this, so see ya! Hello. Hi everybody. Hi, there are 414 people watching us now. Hi, hello, welcome back to Mothership CV Talks, hello. which is a series of talks we'll be holding for the rest of the circuit breaker period to chat with you guys and uh, we'll have some special guests as well. Yeah, so um, today we're going to talk about food, makan, right, which is Singaporeans' um, favourite pastime. Uh, hello, hello, you want to introduce me? Or not? <laughs> yes, uh, today... I've here with the guys for a long time. Yeah, okay. Um, today we have with us uh, Freddie Mercury without hair. Yes, Hi. also known as Sing Chi. So you might recognize him from our videos. Hi, Sing Chi. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, sorry, I was told that this is not on brand. Uh, so sorry, I changed a bit. Uh. I changed, uh, you wait. Uh, you guys wait a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, see? Nice. What's that? Oh, <laughs> the so, okay. of a... 
Fun fact, I, I, I wanted to be a pilot, uh, but I failed miserably. So, and here I am. Uh, mm. Okay, I know. Okay. Nice background, by the way. Nice background. Nice. Okay. Anyway, today we're going to talk about food. Like, food in the time of COVID-19. Right, mm. Sing Sing? Yes, yes. Talking about food, I'm always very... I've been thinking about food all the time, even though I'm not a foodie myself. I think staying at home just makes me hungry. Uh. So whenever I work, I just think of what to eat for lunch, what for tea break, what for dinner. Yeah. Oh so yeah, it's always on my mind, man. What about you, Sylvan? Well, there's nothing else to do but eat, I guess. So. <laughs> okay. Right, right. Yeah. So uh, anyway, our guest for today, since mm. you want to introduce. Oh, them. sorry. I'm supposed to introduce, right? Uh. All right. Let me give. Uh, I I actually wrote this down already. Uh, this intro. Uh, so. Yeah, because uh, he deserves a, a very warm welcome. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a young, aspiring hawker, right? So I just wanted to give you the best introduction ever. All right. Our first guest of the night, weighing 150 pounds, the undefeated champion, Jason Bang, who cooks? <laughs> 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 Hi, Jason. Hello. Hello, Hello Jason. Hey, hey, I, I, I show you like that. Correct, right? You're a boxer, right? Correct, correct. But a bit too heavy, uh, 150. <laughs> 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 hey, so you, you, you mentioned you, you were like a national boxer last time as well? Yes, but I'm not carded. Uh. I mean carded as in you get paid for that, but I'm not, get, I'm not getting paid for boxing. Uh. Even pay also $50, I don't need that. Uh. <laughs> right, right, right. So, so, so as a hawker, it's uh, your full-time job now? Oh uh, yeah, it's all I do now. Uh. Mm. So maybe you can tell us a bit more about like Bang Who Cooks. So, I mean, okay, so actually the reason why you're here today is also because you've started this very cool initiative, right? So could you tell us a little bit more about Bang Ho Cooks and what you have been doing during Circuit Breaker? Um, Bang Ho Cooks, we basically sell like DIY bowl. It's where almost like, you know, daily cut, those form, you take out your form and you just take. Uh, yeah. Like, 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 like Angmo Tsai Peng. Right? Angmo Tsai Peng, but it's more <laughs> atas. Right, 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 right. But that's not our specialty. What we are speci- specialized as I assume I want to break myself is we change menu every three months. <clears throat> uh-huh. Oh, every three months. Yeah, unlike those hawker center, our neighboring store, they don't keep they keep their menu for 40 years. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we every three months change it. Really. Why yeah? Uh, why you want to change all the time? Because I go bought I go bought very fast. Uh, then I will just make sure that I'll change every three months. I'll get inspiration from anybody and anyone. Then I will just change it all because I have a lot of ideas. Or else I'll just burn myself out doing the same thing. <laughs> I see, I see. Hey, talking about inspiration and ideas, right? I mean I think during this time, people are getting a bit tired of uh, staying at home and stuff. But where, where do you get ideas and inspiration from? Uh? Currently, currently or what? Yeah, yeah, currently. Uh. Like, currently got, any, got any CB bowl or not? No? Uh, currently, we have a customized CB bowl. Uh, but uh, we do have a CB bowl. Uh, like, for example, if people are rude to us and they are asking for the foundation, because this foundation is giving free bowls. But if they are rude to us, right, we do have a CB bowl that is... We, I'll give you very little meat and I'll give you a lot of vegetables. Because honestly, I think people don't like vegetable naturally. Yeah. So you eat vegetable, I think it's a lesson learned. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you mentioned about your foundation really, right? So, uh, Bang Who Cooks Foundation is an initiative that you started uh, when this circuit breaker period uh, started in Singapore, right? E- yes, the Bang Who Cares Foundation. Actually, we didn't intend to start during this CB. Uh, it was actually pre-planned before... It was already, even before Lee Se Long announced, right, I think we already planned it. It's just, just nice. Everything came to online manner. Then we just launched it. Mm. It was a very quick planning. Uh, less than 12 hours, we launched that thing already. Mm. So like every day, you guys give out um, free food to people who need the food. Yeah, yeah. So how many like people do you feed every day? Do you know? Mm. Yes, we have a rough <laughs> number of 50 to 80 initially. 50 to 80, yeah. Yes, a day, just for the foundation, the free bowls. Wow. But we start to deduct, like we start to, maybe we dub them or maybe we just feel that they don't really need it. Then we start to cut down a lot because also, because our people who donate money to us, my friends, right, those that contributed, right, it's not fair for them to just pay for people who are not needed. Uh. So uh, we just, me and my friends along, we just start kicking off with them. So now we just serve at least 50 a day. 50 yeah. a day. 50 a day just for the free bowls. Uh. Right, okay. right, right. So, so how, okay. Yeah, oh, so when, please go ahead. <laughs> no, I just wanted to ask, like, because um, 
I read that you guys um, started by having by telling people if you need the food you can come and you don't need any proof you don't need to show us any proof so you said that uh, you guys have seen people who may not really need the food right so how do y'all how do y'all like decide how they need it ah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, because okay, we are not we are hawker, we are businessmen. We don't have experience doing this kind of charity thing, mm. so we we change our rule ev- almost every day during the starting initial phase. Initially, we also cover their delivery. We also cover that we just tell us we will deliver. Don't need mm. any reason. Mm. Then we found that more and more people abusing this system. Then we oh, charge really? delivery very. That that's where we ask them if you don't want delivery, you come and pick up. Mm. That's where you notice. You, they will segregate between the needed and the not needed. Oh, what, 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 what kind of pattern do they have? Like, <laughs> the one that are homeless, go, go, right? Yeah, okay. Homeless ones us, usually have a lot of plastic bag with them. Their plastic bag can consist of gardenia bread, used packet. Plastic bag that carry fish, fishes, they can, the smell is, you can smell it lah. The, there's lots of plastic bag. Maybe they will use it at night when it's raining or they just use it as a pillow when they sleep or no. Mm. Those who don't really need it, right? When they come, ah, some of them will have Rolex watches. Very expensive shoe, and they're still asking for free food. Wow, oh my wow. gosh. Yeah. Then how and is that? You, will you reject them? No, we will only give them once. But most of them, I think when naturally, when you see really two young hawkers really doing their best to serve you, right? Mm. If you have a guilt or shame, you will just naturally, like, okay, you will just ask that one time, you will never appear anymore. Mm. Mm. I mean, I think most Singaporeans are... Nice, right? <laughs> I believe most Singaporeans <laughs> are nice people. Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I just want to just want to say but, something. Uh. Please mm. give you know uh, the, the needy the you know the, the opportunity chance uh, for, for such things. Mm. Uh. Yeah, you know, yeah, if yeah. you can afford it, you know, just yeah. Yeah, but there are Singaporeans who have like come out and um want to sponsor you guys and like mm. donate or uh, contribute to your initiative, right? To help you guys with giving out food to um, Singaporeans who need it, like mm. others in Singapore who need it, yeah. We have a lot. Uh, we have, okay, initial, before we, re- because some of them have my number, because we usually I give them my personal number, then they were forceful, pay now me or pay la me the fund. <laughs> but for now, I really stopped it, yeah. We, re- we receive around like 200 to 300 worth of fund for that. Mm. Oh, okay. Then uh, I said that we don't really need it, we don't want it. Mm. And they, okay, then they really stop and all the donations start stopping but we still got a lot of inquiry that how can I donate to you guys mm. but to us we really, we really don't need it uh, because if you see our store right, it's, we, we are very small mm. we don't need oil we don't need rice actually because we don't even have space to keep it really but, mm. but, so, do, but, but do some of them like just, just chong to your store and give you the thing oh yeah today today <laughs> today, uh, today a few incidents uh, but today got one, one man right one auntie uh, very nice she uh. just come down we are out, we are out, we are cleaning already, almost done already. Then she just come down, right? She just say, oh, we, I just come out from my house. Then she, when she took out her wallet, right, we know that, ayo, she's going to give us money already. Mm. But we should reject her. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I I feel proud when I'm rejecting people for money. I'm like, wow, sucky, I can reject people for <laughs> money. <laughs> but we have, I don't, I don't want to do any shout out, but I think it's just courtesy. We have Jia Jia Lang Day. Uh, they once just randomly out of nowhere just give us six cartons of jajang day. Oh. Yeah, like, no, they didn't even tell us. They just randomly just give us. Then there's a few like Warhawk. They also got give us a few soy sauce, Nestle, some seasoning. Uh. Mm. Yeah, mm. so those are very random. Like, it's very hard touching. Uh, but yeah, I'm a man, good, uh, so good. I don't say it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but still, it's good to see that, you know, the whole community coming in and helping. Yeah. Out, you know? Correct, so correct. They don't, you're not taking it all on your own. And they don't even they don't even need they don't even need me to do any shout out. Mm. Uh, which I find is really meaningful if they don't want any shout out because it becomes a business once you do shout out. Correct, correct, correct. Mm. Totally agree with that. Yeah. Mm. So actually, right at the start, since when so you said that all the the timing really like just came together for you guys um for this initiative, right? So at the start when you had the idea to start this initiative, um, what did you want to what was the objective? Right? What do you want to hope? What do you hope to achieve out of this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For me, I really just want to give that little hope right? because I, I myself, I, I'm addicted to working hard. I think that if you're not hardworking, I don't think you you deserve to do things. You don't deserve to like do anything in life, lah. Mm. 
for this foundation, right? If I don't mind they taking out taking out food, they don't come they come for three months every day. But as mm. long as this CB period is over, right, I just want them to get back on their feet and at least look look for a job if they are able body or anything. Mm. Because uh, just maybe I think last week there was two homeless guy lah. They were really every day coming to take for food. Mm. Then just three days ago, right, he came and he told us, right, oh, you all don't need to give me food already. I found a job at Jurong. Wow. Oh. Wow. The moment I heard that, heard that sentence, <laughs> I, well, I, my hand, on, on, I just take all the food. I give him the whole bowl full of food. I just give him, okay, this one for you. Mm. Uh, it was what really broke my heart when he said, I found a job. Yeah. Yeah. A homeless guy. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, wow, very, very proud of him. Wow, that's it's so that sick. little hope. Uh, this foundation mm. is like that little hope mm. that I just want to give anybody to stand on their feet, to continue moving. Don't just, yes, I'm giving out free, but the purpose is get back on your feet and don't dwell on the bus. Mm. Well, that's a, that's a beautiful story, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It is, it is very, very touching. Just yeah. like you said, you're a man, you know, don't say all these things, but yeah. I but it sounds yeah. manly when I say it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, got some comments on Facebook. Uh. Quite quite funny. Uh. You know, uh, someone asked you what is the most kantong liu lei moment. Uh. But I guess that's the most kantong liu lei No, 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 no. Uh, you more? Got, oh, got okay. two actually. Okay, come. Uh, when I see got one this eighty year old blind man, mm. I don't know the name where he stay or who lah. He was the first customer. If you see our video foundation, right? There's this Nicolette introduced us this customer. I wouldn't call him customer lah, but he's an eighty year old blind man. I didn't deliver to him. It was my friends alone deliver to him most of the time. But there was one day I just went. Then when I see right the place he stay and the place he smell ah. In don't no echo, no nothing, right? Then his step family don't even take care of him. He's 80 year old, but he's living with his step family. Mm. But the environment is horrible, uh, and when the place is split, right, it's not even. Even my rabbit wouldn't want to stay there. Like, or it's horrible. Uh. Now, when I see I was so angry, uh, I feel like even after this CB, right, this type of people, I would help them no matter what. Mm. Then the other one is one got one woman staying in the Hong Kong area there. Her English is horrible. Like she keeps texting me about the, the English is very, very bad. Then I got angry because I got angry very easy. Why are you uh, angry? Ah, no, bing, is it because I'm being? Maybe it's the attitude. Well, maybe it's the fire. Right, because right. I stole my cook. Then her English is horrible. She can't even type a single thank you one. Then I, what? Well, I'll show you pick up the phone. I call her. I scold her. Stop texting me. I'm cooking. <laughs> then when my driver come back, right? Well, I think the auntie really need help. She has two Down syndrome kids. Then he's like, then I should call her. Eh? Hello? Hey, sorry. Uh. Uh, yeah, we will send you food until this circuit breaker is over. No matter how many food you need, we will send you until it's over. I feel very guilty, la, but but she's good. La. She's every day and then she receives food, right? she will text me. Mm. Even after the scolding. La. Right, right, right. Yeah. We have all different different circumstances in life. La. A lot. Right? That's what we just trying to get through, you know, especially at this, during this tough time also. Yeah, very, very tough this time. Yeah. A lot of people lost their job. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, so the thing that you are doing for a lot of people, I think. Mm, I hope okay. so. Okay, we go on to maybe like a more light-hearted question. Somebody asked, uh, can you show your rabbit? Because you mentioned your rabbit earlier. My rabbit don't stay with me. Uh. My rabbit stay oh. my wife. <laughs> my rabbit <laughs> don't even stay with your yeah. wife now? No, my wife. I, we don't stay together. That's why for this CV, right, a lot of people ask me, what do I want to do? I want to go to the zoo uh, with my wife. Oh. Like just take oh. one day off, go to the zoo. Because I really miss her. I haven't seen her since CV. Oh, wow. that's so sweet. Okay, like I like very touched. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so right, Jason, um, do you have any like um words of encouragement for like people who are watching this live stream and just like in general, um, for everyone who's going through this period right now? For this period of time, right? Okay, I mean Stop shaming people online. Everything. If someone you confront them, they are not happy, right? Just walk away. If you are, if you confront, they are not happy. Walk away. And for those who lost their job, right? It's not the end of the world, like, Honestly, you can still share a story with your mom, your dad, your wife, or your partner. Just hang in there. Maybe for this period over, right? Just get back on your feet. Find a job, whatever job. As long as you got your hands or leg with you, right? Do something. Because mm-hmm. end of the day, if you got a will to survive, right? You got a way to just get past this whole thing. Right? Right on, right on, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Uh, we also want to support uh, local businesses. Like. Yes. So, if you all want to try uh, 
uh, Mr. Jason Trust famous DIY boast, the Ang Mo Tai Peng. You can go Ang Mo Tai Peng. Five three one eight Upper Cross Street. 0144 Hong Lim Food Center. Correct or not, Jason? Correct. Yeah, yeah. it may be hard and, to find, but it's at the back row. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you want to you want to order online, how do you go about, go about doing that? Uh, currently, we have our... It's not Bing Who's, Bing Who Cares Foundation, Bing Who Cooks order link. Uh, it's at our bio. Just click there. We'll open until 5 or 6 o'clock at least. Mm. Open Monday to Friday, regardless of public holiday. Mm. Alright. So I can find this on Instagram, right? Yes, just on our Instagram. But if you cannot find, don't have Instagram, just Facebook message me lah. I will tell you lah. Daily. But it's a bit, <laughs> if my reply is a bit rude, then maybe it's your manners very rude lah. <laughs> Understand lah, the bro is cooking, is very hot in the kitchen. Yeah, right? yeah very hot in the kitchen. I your reputation also lah. You need to be fierce lah. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for joining us, Jason. Thank you very much, Jason. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, he's gone. Okay. He's gone. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, Since you know we have uh, at Mothership, we have our own initiative to help uh, local F and B businesses as well. Um, I pretend I, that I know. Yes, I think I. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you explain? Expand on that. Yeah. Okay. So what we have done or what we are doing um is we have compiled. A list of um, over 70 FMB uh, businesses that you can support uh, during this period. So, like these are vendors who uh, have written in to us because they need some help, they are struggling during this period. So, um, this Excel sheet of 70 over FMB businesses you can help support uh, is available in the comment section right now. Wow. So pro. Now, okay. No. Anyway. Yeah. Come <laughs> so, on. Okay, so um, you guys can support uh our local F and B businesses by looking through this list, and if there's anything that interests you, you can order from there. You can go and pick up yourself, deliver to your house, whatever. Yeah. So have you, you been? Sir, am I still on the screen? Uh? I look like. I look <laughs> <laughs> you are still on the screen. Oh, I'm still on the screen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right, right. Hey. Distracted by our producer talking to us. Yeah, sorry, we're distracted. Yeah, this was the awkward silence. <laughs> was talking to us. But yeah. This, um, this, so, this just in. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so the next guest that we are going to speak to uh, is somebody who has been cooking a lot since uh, CB period started. Have you been cooking your food or have you been buying your food uh, since you? I buy my food. Uh, Try not to burn down my kitchen. Yeah. In my house, everybody's trying to burn down the kitchen. Everybody's trying to cook. All yeah. domestic goddess now. Uh. Mm. <laughs> no, it's just boring. Oh, sorry. We talked too much already. Uh, let's, let's, let's go to a short interval and take a look at our nice bubble tea video first. It I once heard someone say, everyone will leave you, except for bubble tea. So that was a f***ing lie. So, working from home also means making your own bubble tea in this emergency episode of Cook From Home. Want to eat? Can go out? How about you cook from home? So welcome to episode 2 everyone, if you don't already know, this is a show where an amateur cook like myself attempts at recreating dishes from TV shows and films. However, we're not doing that today. Instead, we are helping the people of Singapore cope with a very recent loss in their lives by making our very own homemade bubble tea. So we have a few ingredients here today. So to make the bubbles or the boba or the bibi, first you need tapioca flour and to make it sweet, you need brown sugar. To make the tea, you need 3 bags of whichever tea of your preference. You need white sugar for the syrup. And finally, you need milk for the milk tea. At the end, I'll rate this beverage based on its price, difficulty, the time it took, and finally whether you should cook this from home. Uh, I've always been more of a Oreo crush from Sweet Talk kind of guy, which is exactly why I'm here to show you that if a casual like me can make bubble tea, so can you. Now let's start off with the easy part, which is making the tea. First thing you have to do is boil some water. As the water is boiling, we assemble whichever 
tea bag of your preference. If you're making about a liter's worth of tea, you need three tea bags. I'm just gonna fill it 80% because the other 20% will come from the milk. The tea is gonna cook for 10 minutes. So while we wait, we can sort of prepare our syrup, which will be the gauge of what sugar level we want our milk tea to be. So we get ourselves a pot, we turn on the heat. And what we're gonna fill it up with is um, one cup of water and two cups of sugar stir to make sure the water and the sugar incorporates well together. Once you see no sugar inside within your syrup, you can turn off the heat. The tea has brewed. Since I already have 800 milliliters of tea in here, I'm gonna fill the next 200 milliliters with milk. So I'm just gonna taste this. This is not even 0% milk tea, this is like negative 25. But when we are assembling our milk tea, we'll be using the syrup. So now I can put the milk tea in the fridge so that when I'm assembling my milk tea, the milk tea will be very cool. But this was the easy part. Now this is the hard part, making the bubbles. Number one, boil some water. As your water is boiling, now we assemble our tapioca flour. Grab yourself a pot and we're gonna add in 9 tablespoons of flour. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six, seven, eight, nine. So the most important thing at this stage is boiling water. Not hot water, boiling water. We are going to add a total of 5 tablespoons of boiling water. Add 3 first, mix it, followed by another 2. Immediately continue stirring. So now use your hands to feel whether I there is a bit of doughy yeah. texture. So I can sort of feel a I doughy texture that is when you take your flour you and sure just dust the tabletop. We're going to knead the dough. Okay, if right now your mixture is it's actually, breaking apart, um, don't worry. Just add in boiling if water. The dough, but if you are like and press, really, really craving bubble tea and super super thirsty, it looks thirsty. a little bit soggy, this so I'm just going to use a little bit of flour. So this very itself well. can be one looks very time Now we're going to roll it into a log. Uh, very, like your ROI is not great at all. We cut yeah. it in two again, and then we roll it. And so this is what I have right now. Like, what I'm going to do is to cut this, both then, like, snakes so I that I can very roll them into little bobas. After like close yeah, to half so an hour of just rolling, roll you'll get something that looks a little like, like this. Right now, it's time to cook these babies. So spend, like, so I'll see you over there. So we are minutes, back here with our little bubble tea balls. balls. How do we cook them? Balls. First, we need to get a pot like, full of water and then boil it. Just then enough then for the balls to float. Once um, the pot is boiling, now we can put in our balls into the boiling water. Now we have to wait 15 minutes for it to cook. So see you in 15 minutes. You should try this though. I think we have children. It's just a little over 15 minutes. Right now, we're going to turn off the heat. Mm. and let it rest for another 5 right. to 10 minutes. See you again in another 5. 5 minutes later. Now before we even take the balls out, we need to prepare ourselves mm. with uh, brown sugar. We're going to caramelize the brown sugar with the balls by adding it straight onto it because it's now piping hot. To be over. And I will not cook myself because I'm not a fan of bubble tea. Nope. No, no it's it is not true. a fan of bubble tea. It does taste I like nobody. the pearls that you find in a brown sugar milk tea. Thing is, and I know you do this now. Okay guys, here we are at the mm. final stage. We have our pearls, we have ice, now, so we have our tea and finally we yes, have our homemade syrup. What's way. left to do yes, is to assemble our bubble mm. tea. We take our pearls, a handful of ice, pour into the cup. Mm -hmm. Now before that, we have to get to 0% before we go any higher, chips. which is 2 tablespoons of the syrup we made. So now this milk tea with 2 tablespoons of syrup is at 0%. Wow, that tastes like your standard milk tea. Woo! I'm not just gonna let you take my word for it. I'm gonna let like my mom try out this homemade milk tea that I just did. <laughs> so that's it for today's emergency episode of Cook From Home. The price adds up to $10 with only 5 ingredients. This is by far the most difficult beverage I've had to prepare. So I'm giving it a 5 star difficulty, mostly due to the pearls. I took about an hour and a half to finish everything. In the end, if I'm craving for bubble tea, I'd rather wait for the end of Circuit Breaker. If you want to satisfy that bubble tea craving, this is the recipe for you. I'm going to indulge in this. So, see ya! Alright guys, thanks for waiting. Uh, the next guest, please make some noise. The one, the only... I have to make my own air horn sound lah. What was that, guys? Sorry, no money for effect. <laughs> you're trying, you're Sorry, trying. Very low yeah. budget production. <laughs> but before I start the interview, I just want to uh, uh, say some a confession lah. Yes. I I'm a big fan of Perfect Ten. Oh my uh, god! Like, perfect Ten. Oh my god! 
when I had <laughs> hair. I love perfect ten. Yeah, I listened to when it was perfect ten. I think I was in primary school or something <laughs> like that, something along those lines. Yeah. So, yeah, I was definitely I was definitely listening back then. Yeah, so it's kind of strange to be here where I am right now. Right, right, right. I'm not gonna be rude and ask you all these radio questions, but yeah, let's let's talk about food then. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Fire away. Yeah. The for so you want mm. you want to. Oh, it's, you notice that I'm here? Okay. Yeah, I noticed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay, so Sonia is here today because um, she has been uh, cooking. We noticed on your Instagram that you've been cooking a lot like during this circuit breaker period, right? Oh, and we just, <laughs> we just want to know like, um, how has that been for you? Did you cook before uh, this circuit breaker period or are you like a brand new cook? I have to confess, girl, like, prior to this, all I ever cooked were instant noodles. Like, trust me, like, my my number one specialty was, like, Indomie with egg and, like, fried onions and chili uh-huh. party. That was it. But, like, four weeks later, I mean, how, how long are we into circuit break already? I can't even recall, like, over four a month. Four and a half? Four and yeah, a half. Over months, a month, right? yeah, over a month. yeah, I've been cooking and everyone who has tried my food is still alive and kicking. So I think that is a very good sign. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's mm-hmm. always a good indication. Yes, a very good indication. So like what is the we okay, we so we saw that you have been cooking like bakute, Korean, mm-hmm. like Korean dishes. So what is like the one dish that you think you've really gotten good at like over this month or so? The one dish that I've really nailed. Uh. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I actually learned this um, pasta sauce from scratch situation from one of my friends. Her name is Roz. She was a perfect 10 DJ. <laughs> perfect 10. <laughs> hey, well, that's <laughs> Yeah, so I actually learned, I mean, just watched her IG stories and I kind of like learned how she did it. Super simple, straightforward. And on the first try, I think I nailed it. Um, another, I mean, not to boast or ever if I say so myself, um, but another uh, dish I think that I am pretty good at is herbal chicken soup. Okay, so this wow. one I learned from my mom. It sounds very high level. Yeah, very high level. It's, it's not very high level, no. You just need a slow cooker. That's it. It does most of the work for you. But um, the one thing that I learned from my mom, Mama Chu, what's up? She has Instagram also. Please follow her. She's, she wants to be an influencer. And <laughs> basically, you have to boil your ingredients first and then put it in the slow cooker. You don't like dump the whole thing into the slow cooker, which does not quite work. Yeah, so I'm sure that's a no-brainer if you're um, a cook that, you know, you cook every single day. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, slow cooker, that's a hack right there. It's a hack. Uh-huh. Okay, so, I mean... Hey, so wait, wait, you wait. just let, let me just interrupt this. <laughs> let me just interrupt this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sonia, I got a question for you. you yeah. You you own a restaurant, right? Mm. So what mm-hmm. took you so long to start cooking? Eh? <laughs> okay. So can I just say um, when I started Easy Folk, which is the yeah. restaurant that I co-own together with some partners, right? Um, I love to taste the food. So I'll go and like do these tastings to my partners and we'll tell them like what we like, what we don't like. We have a general idea of what we wanted the direction of the restaurant to be. And I regret not starting, um, you know, learning how to cook earlier because, you know, just really getting into the craft and all that. So I think now that I've um, gotten a bit more time, then definitely when things go back to normal, I would love to try my hand at recreating some of the dishes that I leave to my trusty team over at Easy Folk. So, so, so I guess they cannot try to smoke you now? Uh? Why? No, no, no. Cannot already. Moving forward, cannot already. <laughs> Maybe sometimes still can. Still can pass. <laughs> yeah, but I'm very much like, you know, I'm very much into more of like the branding of the restaurant and, you know, the marketing and stuff like that. So I think all of us as partners have like different strengths. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So will you, you think you will be cooking uh, over at Easy Food after you perfect some of your dishes, like your herbal chicken and I don't know, even your Indomie dish. Somebody has asked like <laughs> oh, no. about your Indomie recipe. My Indomie recipe, very simple one, you know. It's just about like having the egg right and the chili putty and add sesame oil. Oh my God, that's my secret. Sesame oil is the solution to most problems of the world. Yes. Some problems, some problems. Some yes. problems. Yes. Yeah, so do you, do you think you'll be cooking anytime soon behind, I mean, in the kitchen of Easy Folk? 
Yeah, you know what? Like some restaurants have done collaborations with celebrities who love to cook as well, and they've you know done like maybe a special session or something. And I don't know if my skills are of the level that I will feel comfortable cooking for people of the public. <laughs> maybe give me like twenty twenty one. Okay, that's my. Goal. <laughs> I'll be able to do like a course meal kind of situation. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Mm, okay. Hopefully, yes. So, do you think you can share with us, like, whether you've had any like mishaps in the kitchen mm. uh, at all? Yeah. So, um, this might come across strange, but I am really bad at estimating the water levels for rice. Does anyone else have this problem? <laughs> so become porridge. Yeah. yeah. Like you have to use this. Like, do you use your finger? Wow, this is a very out of context question. Um, no, <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> I, I have not. I just heard like twenty percent more of like the level of rice. I don't know, but uh, yeah, yeah. my estimation for rice cooking is not the best. Uh, it's been it's failed a couple of times, and that's like the basic thing. So I don't know why I'm getting that wrong, but I need to work on that. Hey, fun fact, fun fact. Uh, fun I fact. heard Suwen doesn't have a rice cooker at home. Oh yeah, I, I don't have a rice you, cooker at home. So you cook in a pot? Yeah, right. Huh? So when when my when my colleagues found out that I don't have a rice cooker at home, they said like, how can an Asian household not have a rice cooker at home? But then I said, yeah, we cook rice in a pot. I mean, not me obviously, yeah. but my mom cooks rice in a pot. And it's like it's more Asian than you guys. Yeah. Oh my so god. We have a rice cooker in our house. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not to get her for Christmas lah. <laughs> yeah. That's what y'all need to get her. Yeah. Um. So, what is the first dish that you made? Uh, stepping into the kitchen for the first time, other than Indomie. Okay, maybe let's not count like instant. Yeah. Noodles. Okay, let's not count. Oh my gosh. Let me let me think back. Um. Oh. Okay. I remember the first day that I woke up and I felt inspired. I was like, I'm gonna cook today. It was a piece of frozen salmon, and um, some pre-made sauce and some salad. Yeah, so that was it. Like it was super simple, but I was still so afraid that I'll mess up because anything could happen. I've like literally, if I could store shoes in my oven, I would. But now the oven's in use every single day, which is great. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So yeah. you cook like today as well. You cook your own meals today. I didn't cook my own meal today. I baked today because you know I had like to come back from work because after like my radio show, I had to come back and then look nice for y'all. So I got no time to cook. So that's why only this morning I decided to bake, and it was um the remaining ingredients of what I did last week, which was like a lemon pie. So now I made like a lemon cake. Yeah. Wow, a lemon cake. Yeah. Well, lemon cupcakes. Yes. It's like super sounds very very pro for somebody who just started like going into the kitchen one month ago. Yeah. <laughs> my mom is my mom is very impressed. <laughs> Speaking of a uh, lemon cakes, sorry, yes, cake, right, yeah. So um, recently I think uh, MP in Parliament, right, MP Lee Biwa mentioned about. Uh, about the situation of TCM halls like, in Singapore, like mm-hmm. uh, you were speaking to the health minister and saying, like, hey, how come, how come some of the dessert stores can open now? Uh? Then mm-hmm. how, how come my TCM hall cannot open? Yeah, or, or May twelve. So, so my my question uh, is, are you a, are you a BBT for life person? <laughs> Um, the, the answer is no. I can live without bubble tea, actually. Shockingly, I know, I know, I know you're very shocked right now. She genuinely looks shocked. <laughs> like, I out of the three of us, I'm the only person who drinks bubble tea. Oh no. Okay. No, I do, I do appreciate bubble tea. It's just that I won't, I won't die without it, you know. Like, I can still live life. Um, I'm more reliant on coffee, I would say. And I would not go to the extent of making my own pearls and stuff. I mean, that's just intense. Like, that's yes. crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> It, uh, uh, we're just going to read some comments from Facebook la. okay yeah and uh, yeah, other than all the oh you're very pretty very yeah. hey, yo, you sure they're not referring to you no, okay no la. <laughs> me yeah I think there's some questions of like uh, what is the maybe the easiest thing to, to, to prepare in the kitchen the easiest thing to prepare in the kitchen yeah I like think- quick, some quick, quick fix thing Pasta is always the easiest, one right. of the easiest. Um, honestly, like porridge is damn easy. So I just did it yesterday. I did like a codfish congee situation, which was like really easy to make and, you know, pretty straightforward. And it comes out like super wholesome. 
what else is easy to make? Um, the slow cooker idea lah. Slow cooker is like a no brainer. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's a real hack. Or get yourself an air fryer. I think that's like <laughs> oh yeah, air fryer. I, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Air fryer. You can air fry everything. Super yeah, simple. Yeah. yeah. Okay, someone asked, um, do you have any tips for someone who can't even cook a three ingredient banana pancake dish? Should I stop going into the kitchen? Wow, well, this person quite dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I'm quite a drama queen also. Three ingredient banana pancake. I don't even know how to make a pancake, sis. Like what? <laughs> um no, I, I have no tips except for trying to have some confidence in yourself. Cause like look at me. Like seriously, I, I did not even realize that I had it in me. Um I'm pretty sure I almost failed home, home econs last time as well, back in school. So this is a big step. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so have some confidence. Yes. Any everyone can do it. So yeah, yeah. have some confidence. Yes, okay, have... that's very good. <laughs> okay, let's go for one last question. Mm. Uh, what is your favorite uh home cooked dish? My favorite home cooked dish mm. is that the end of the Okay. Oh, very noisy. Okay, sorry. Um my <laughs> I think some people are like gaming or something. Um, my favorite home cooked dish at the moment, I would say, um, like my home cooked dish or like stuff that my mom used to prepare or what. Mm, this, I mean, they didn't specify. Maybe what your mom prepares. Yeah, in the part. Okay, so she makes like super amazing curry, chicken curry. And because oh. she's Pranakan as well, so like she loves a bit of like that extra spice, right? That's, mm. I mean, you know, I love spice as well. So chicken curry is definitely one of her, her signatures. Um, If you're talking about my home-cooked stuff, I think um the congee that I made was kind of bomb. I really liked it. And another thing that I made that was really good was this caviar um, angel hair pasta. Wow. So it actually it's not as complicated as it sounds. I just made the angel hair pasta and then put the caviar on top. And then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. yeah. Super easy. Easy to impress people. Okay. So, if, okay. Uh, we still have about... I mean, we have... How many people are watching us right now? 314 people. Thanks for staying on for so long, guys. So, if you would like to try... Um, the dishes at uh, Sonia's restaurant, Easy Folk, um, they are still operating right now, right? Uh, mm-hmm. You can yeah. get food delivered to them. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. We're doing island-wide delivery. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, think I, I, saw, I also saw some questions. Uh, why is it called Easy Folk? Uh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so directly translated into Mandarin is Easy Folk. Oh. So like, what? Together, you know, and it's, it's quite like, yeah, what it's together. quite funny. I know, what together. So yeah, it's it was just a kind of a spin on words. Um, we partnered up with the original owner of Izzy. I'm not sure if you guys remember, like on Club Street, there was a Japanese play, place called Izzy Dining. So okay. yeah, so we kind of combined the two. And Itifu, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hua, guys. Yeah, man. Everyone needs some what right now. I, I got to see. I feel you. If you're in the f and industry, sending you lots of love and support. And, you know, if you're tuning in right now, I think do your best to support local businesses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. so if you would like to try food from Easy Folk, uh, they deliver Island White. You can visit them on Instagram. Are you guys on any food delivery platforms? Yeah, actually, um, we're on all food delivery platforms. And right now we're doing island-wide delivery on Audel as well. So that's Audel. I think you would know it if you mm-hmm. order food quite often. So yeah, we deliver island-wide. Yes, great. Thank you, Sonia. Yeah. Do you have any final words for the people who are still uh, watching, like words of encouragement for them? Yeah, you know, first of all, thank you, Mothership, for having me. I mean, this is our first live stream together. It's been fun. And your backgrounds are, like, super distracting. I love it. Especially the cat behind you. It's pretty funny. Um, but, but to you, if you're tuning in right now, thank you so much for taking your time out to spend time with us tonight. And if you are feeling bored or you're feeling alone and you're feeling isolated, just know that, you know, um, people are just a click away nowadays with social media, with digital. You know, I think it's evolved so much. Just reach out. Don't be afraid to do that. And even on radio as well, we're talking to you all the time, 24-7. We're like your friends. So make sure that you stay sane and stay grounded and stay healthy. That's all I got to say. Okay, thank you so much, Sonia. Uh, uh, Thanks for allowing two noobs to interview you. <laughs> no, it's good. Next time I should interview you guys. Like, the yeah, then, are then, totally then I will ask for song dedication. Yeah, yeah, that's what, okay. Okay, tell me now. Then I dedicate to you tomorrow. Okay, I want uh, Backstreet Boys. 
I can't play Backstreet Boys. Like, can you pick something not so old school? <laughs> Why? That's my era. I want it that way. Okay, I'll pick something similar for you from like, you know, Ariana Grande. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dedicate it to you guys. Tune in, okay? I will make sure I do it at 5.30. Eh, no, 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 no. 4.30. 30. Hey, you forgot your time. <laughs> Sorry. You forgot the time. 4.30 p.m. <laughs> okay, thank you right, for joining thank us. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 You. You. To hang up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think we're... Yeah. Ending. Okay, so yeah. thanks for joining us today. Um, we had two guests today. Uh, how was it, Sing Chi? Was it fun for you? Yeah, it's fun for me. I think I'm just being myself. Uh-huh. I'm asking yeah. questions. So we'll be doing this again next week. You're joining us again? Is it? Well, am, I, <laughs> am I doing it next week again? <laughs> no, I, mean... I, think, I, think, I think I will ask the, the, the viewers, like, if you want to see me, then maybe... <laughs> Give a heart or something. Or something. Yeah, if you think to appear again next week, please um leave like the care, you know the care emoji, the, the, <laughs> the care up. emoji. Yeah, please leave the care emoji if you would like to see if you would like to see Sing again. Uh otherwise we will also be doing another session next Wednesday, um at the same time, 9 p.m. Uh, if you have any suggestions about what you want us to talk about and who you would like to see on the show, you can leave. Uh, your suggestions in the comments below. Uh, yeah, so we hope you had fun. Well, well actually, I think uh, I learned something from this show. Uh. Doing yeah, uh, posting right. this, if you you can really talk a lot. Eh. Yeah, you also can talk. Oh, you power man! Your monologue is like wow. <laughs> top form, top form, right there. Man. Okay. Okay. Bye okay. bye, guys. Thanks. Stay safe. Stay at home, please. Bye. Bye. I'm supposed to wave now. Bye bye. Wash your hands, gotta fight the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, blow every soap and then you'll be alright Wash your hands, gotta fight the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright When you touch the door, handle at work, yeah Wanna dig your nose, cause damn sure, yeah Right before you want to touch your face Better wash your hands first, just in case Virus want to stay in Singapore Use your yellow boots, kicking out the door Personal hygiene is not a chore If you do our part, then we are all Wash your hands, gotta find the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright Wash your hands, gotta fight the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright If you are safe, then please wear a mask, uh. okay. If you are not, don't have to wear, la uh. oh. Cover your face, if you cough or sneeze <laughs> Be responsible, don't spread disease oh, yeah. Conquered viruses before, don't play, play You can hear the lion roar Personal hygiene is not a chore If you do our part, then we will be alone Wash your hands, gotta find the virus we all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright Wash your hands, gotta find the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright BHPC at your service We got a meds at subsidized rates don't touch your face where a mask is safe Wash your hands with soap, that will do the trick So what if it's COVID-19? Use your brain, use your brain, we can be clean! Shut up! Wash your hands, gotta find the virus all day, all night Wash your hands now Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright Wash your hands, gotta find the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright Wash your hands and do it with soap now Wash your hands